Well, <laughs> on uh, arguably the lighter side, we have this story out of Austin. A woman was arrested after driving her car through a Church of Scientology building. Erin McMultrie was seen by witnesses parked outside the church for a number of minutes before driving her car through the front doors, the reception area, and the nursery before backing away and driving out. Before backing out and driving away. When asked by authorities why she drove through the building, she called the church evil and said that she couldn't find a rock to throw through the window. <laughs> That's a wonderful bit of logic. I can. Oh, okay. You're free to go, ma'am. Yeah, well, that seems to make sense. Yeah. I, I love when the but the police. If you read this article, when the police finally caught up with her, um, not long after that she hit the building, they asked her if she did it, and she just goes, "No comment." No comment. <laughs> no comment. It's yeah. not the press. This is not a press <laughs> briefing. No yeah. And so they they put her in cuffs, and then she admitted to to doing it. You're, oh. you're mixing up your press versus police. Police yeah. is, uh, that, I, I reserve the right not to yeah. to answer your questions. Am I being detained, officer? Yeah. <laughs> no comments for the press. No comment doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, that's a common mistake with people who get in trouble with the law, actually. I just read a, a true crime book about the FLDS church, and one of the members was being interrogated about whether or not he was someone's bodyguard on the stand. And at he goes, no comment, at which point the judge had finally had enough of him. He goes, you're not at a press conference. You're in the court of law. You will answer the question. <laughs> well, in terms of Scientology, um, I'm not sure how the church would react to this. Um, most of the time when people Probably say... Probably getting up out of their chairs and running away from the bumper of that car mm -hmm. <laughs> initially. That will be your initial reaction. Glaring the babies out of the nursery. Mm -hmm. Good call on that one. But... Oftentimes, when you have someone that does something out of a what seems like an, a, a religious rage, people will say, well, clearly they're crazy and mm -hmm. they need to be evaluated. This is clearly a mental health thing. Mm -hmm. We've received some criticism in terms of from listeners in terms of listening uh, to that kind of rhetoric of saying we don't know. I mean, it's that's a way to uh, both conflate religiosity and ment mental illness that can mm -hmm. happen, but also it happens independently. It's a very interesting fundamentalism and insanity are very interesting chicken and the egg problems to me. It's, does fundamentalism attract insane people or is really dogmatic thinking make you insane? I think it's probably a little column A, column B. That's yeah. always interested me quite a bit. But that's not her problem. Her problem is these body thetans have her all bugaboo. Oh, man. <laughs> well, because clearly the Church of Scientology is not going to ask for a mental health evaluation when she's uh, her, her competency hearings. Yeah. Um, Church of Scientology. Well, they might recommend that she come to the Church of Scientology, though, and get her mental health done there because the Church of Scientology does not believe in psychiatry or they think psychiatrists run the world's banking system from a Death Star or something <laughs> along those lines. They very much are skeptical of uh, psychiatry and psychologists. So would it be the ultimate act of forgiveness to say we welcome you into our church? Now, please give us lots of money so we can clear your your thetans for wanting to drive through nurseries or. I'm going to say no. no. She, oh, let's let's be honest. She stopped at the nursery. She drove she, up to she, and smashed into the nursery right. and then saw the error of her ways. And, I can and decided just, to leave. There was uh, also there was a guy as she drove by him. She was said and he quote he was quoted saying she she was showing me the bird. So, mm -hmm. so the driver? I mean, the driver. <laughs> so mm -hmm. uh I I think I find this story kind of funny but also um kind of disgusting. But she did it late at night, so hopefully there wasn't a lot of people in the the facility. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that was her thinking. I find the most terrifying aspect of this story that Scientology has a nursery in its building <laughs> actually. So they grow their new pod people. So last week we tried to say, "Hey, uh don't uh, keep your hands to yourself. Don't hit people." Uh don't Last week, we had a few rules to follow, Jeremy, when we were talking. I think, you know, keep besides keep your hands to yourselves, children. I think uh, we can include don't drive a car through the house of worship of other people, regardless of whether you think their church is evil. <laughs> yeah, we're getting close to the fight club number of rules. Let's make that one rule number one and rule twice. Rule one. Yeah, well, send, and, send and a strongly you worded letter. Find a rock, don't throw that through a window either. <laughs> yeah, don't do that either. Oh, my goodness. I'd have loved to be the responding <laughs> officer. You, he's gotten a few beers bought for him based on that piece of logic from that particular <laughs> criminal. You know, even when you have a church that's evil, you have such a dogmatic stance of whatever is your own faith tradition that mm -hmm. you have to say, I need to destroy the people, the followers of other religious paths. This is one of the things that's leading to increased violence against Muslims in the U.S. I mean, we've had in the past month... Um, 
many, many attacks. We discovered that last week. We've had continued to have more. I think we had a Christmas Day uh, arson at a mosque. Mm -hmm. Uh, Luckily, there was no one in it or no one that was injured. Long and short of it is, if the only way you have to make your point is to attack someone who is in no way attacking you, you don't have a point to make. And if you did have a valid point to make, you've weakened everyone else who is on your side's attempt to make that point. But so, that's 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 the point is that they think they're being attacked. And mm-hmm. I'm not saying that this that's the case here. But when you see these other cases of, of people attacking Muslims, whether it's a cab driver and we've seen all kinds of different stories, it's because they feel that they're personally being persecuted or attacked. They think that even though nobody's physically harming them, they're they're So we go back to is it, is it a mental instability thing? But they think that. These people are doing this to them, making them crazy. So they, this is how they respond to it. Well, put them in chains then. <laughs> I, I would imagine perhaps it's a, a sort of a sense that one might be preventatively um, helping to ensure the safety of everyone else so mm-hmm. that no more Parises happen, no more Benghazis happen. By, by doing a micro Paris. Mm. I guess. Yeah. It's bad reasoning. Right. And it's definitely a piece of our society that we could do better on whether sure. it's yeah. whether it's against muslims or uh followers of the church of scientology d- just don't just lay off no. you know i mm-hmm. mean start a blog <laughs> uh, we do were gonna do something like yeah. that yeah but we decided to have a radio show instead <laughs> remember when we disassembled all our weapons oh that was a fun day well we couldn't find any rocks so we mm-hmm. decided to get microphones instead yeah we couldn't mm-hmm. afford cars at the time yeah. Rocks are a lot cheaper than microphones. We went to great expense. <laughs> well, up here in the Pacific Northwest, you know, there seems to be a shortage of rocks uh, to be <laughs> easily accessible and easily thrown through. Win- no, please, mm. please do not throw rocks. <laughs> this goes back to my theory about why homosexuals all live in the city, and it is to avoid the stoning that should be Old Testament <laughs> applied to them. There's no rocks. By, yeah, in the city, you can't just get a rock. So that's, you know, you got to go rent a jackhammer or go out and drive some rocks. Out of, into <laughs> from the, the city country. from by then <laughs> that time your target is gone mm-hmm. we do not endorse throwing rocks driving cars through people or buildings full of people <laughs> or even just any building you don't own uh, it's very basic stuff <laughs> seems to have uh, not gotten through to a good segment of our population so mm. kind of kind of interesting on it's there it's interesting to me that this happened in austin texas of all parts of mm-hmm. texas but what can you do? Well, without religion, you don't have morals, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. One might say that in Texas, since Austin is known for being the most liberal place in Texas, people might be emboldened to try and eliminate the one liberal bastion. 